are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. We are live at Retropalooza Houston. My first time here. My first time in Houston. My first time at any Retropalooza ever. Look at my awesome banner. That's that's my banner. I don't have a banner. I, just, I grabbed some post-its. Anyway, uh, this is my table. I just put my shirt there. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around a little bit. We got Billy over there for the game chasers. We got Pat the NES punk somewhere down there. There we go. All right, let's uh, check out the floor so we can find. These are awesome. Hello. I'm admiring your wares, your glasswares. You even got the exclusive uh, retro palooza ness. Yes, that's a, another color. Uh oh. I see. That's it. Let's see, it's too late. People who are watching this, it's too late. If you could choose anyone, which one would you choose? I would choose. This one. Oh my god, I just saw this. How much do I love Qbert? I just saw this. Ooh. There's like Atari Link stuff back here. Kind sir. How much you asking? 30 bucks. 30 bucks only? Sealed brand new. I know. I Well, it, it won't be sealed if I buy it. I'm, I'm even playing it. 30 bucks. Actually, I'm, I might be coming back for this. I mean, even just stuff like this. Even just stuff like this. It's just cool to see boxes and thermoses and stuff. I'm seeing more and more VHS at conventions, and I'm okay with that. There's a lot of VHS that isn't on DVD and will never be on DVD. Will never be on DVD. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Hee <laughs> hee. The funny thing is I'm gonna watch my own video back and say like, oh, I should have got that. I should have grabbed this. I didn't see it. Too busy looking. Too busy looking at all the cool stuff. I've got to compliment the smartness of putting the name with the price so nobody swaps yeah. prices. I never thought about that. I might actually steal that idea. <laughs> oh my god. I love the Robotnik. Dude. I may actually have to grab that. Let me know. I'll be around. Dude, like, such an awesome game. Ten bucks only. Dude, Pokemon Sword, ten bucks only. Dude, arms, five bucks only. Dude. 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 I like that. Dunkin' Donuts cereal. Oh, yeah. That was me. Oh, you're the Dunkin' Donuts cereal guy. Oh, yeah, it, Dunkin' Donuts is in my uh, cereal book over okay. there, so. The Tomo Macchiato is the one to go with. The Mocha's a little bit disappointing. Right, right. All right, so uh, we got Tomo Macchiato. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of cool. Yeah. You never know what you're going to find here. I know. You don't want too often see the, uh, the slipcover for those, yeah. those sleeves. And That's worth it just for that alone. The Game Boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Such a weird card. Yeah, it looks it's like it's so exposed. Yeah. <laughs> when you see tables of games, look at the floors. You might find something cool down here. Especially if you love Monopoly, right? Right? These are the things I like to look for. Ten dollars each. Three for twenty-five. Dude. Oh my god. Fire Pro. There he is. See, I already, I already found two games I like. Fire Emblem might be a little rough. Um, uh, well, I mean, you can never go wrong with Street Fighter. Oh, Al hello. Alice in Wonderland. That's a unique one. Dude, there's... Good Lord. I'm impressed. I mean, yeah, these are going to be a little harder to play if you don't know Japanese or whatever, but... I mean... Dude. And if you win the lottery, are just looking for that investment. It's out there, man. People love it. Say it again. Say it to my face. Terrible idea, John. Okay, I didn't think you were actually going to say it to my face, but <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, the Funko Land is really the showcasing feature. I'll move. No, I, I'm not sure. I don't want to block the star of the show. <laughs> you, I saw plenty of it. I saw a lot of it. All right. What am I looking for? Overpriced games. Well, uh, then I'm, I'm at the right place, apparently. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. Yes, yes. Toki. That's a good one. Some great Sega CD games here. Oh. There, there it is. There it is. That's a kind of a fun game here, too. Game here. Value game. John Riggs. Underrated. I already see Hatteras, so I know that's the one you turned yeah. me on to. I like I like Hatteras. Not a lot of people talk about Hatteras. If you're listening, if your people are just looking for a good game at a decent price, 
I already see Conquest of the Crystal Palace poking up there. There's Ooh. some good games in here, dude. Yeah. This is all right. I don't know what you got on it, but that's a good one. Yeah. These ones get a little bit more pricey on the uh, Mario's Time Machine and Mario is Missing. Yeah. I went to try to find every Nintendo published game, so I had to get those. Get, those get one of each. Yeah, you have, dude. This is... It's like the little, almost a Capcom box here. It was. It was a complete Capcom set when we started today. So, uh, but yeah, some yeah. people took all the good stuff. Not just the fact that it's Contra Force, but in the Funko sleeve. Yeah, I had to flex that I got it for five bucks. Not just the Contra Force, but in the Funko sleeve. Yeah, my Contra Force was like twelve ninety nine in the late nineties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah at Software Center. Yeah, this so. one's got the uh, little bubble effect. I don't know what that is. Oh, no, it's just the heat. And then the back is perfect, you know. So. Yeah. Still yeah, works though. Terrible game, but you know people that need all the contra. It's games. not. It's not bad. It's just not contra. It's not contra. contra. I just got yeah. it last week. I love me the uh, Turbo Graphic 16 and stuff too. That's a good one. Not a lot of people like that one. I like this one a lot too. Dead Moon. And I used to have Pac Man. Parasol Stars, of course. Bubble Bobble Three, man. Yep, that's right. Working designs. Got the Cubert lunch pail there, dude. I see a lot of Cubert here. There's nothing wrong with that. Hello. Sniffy bag there. Got the box and television as well. Ah, oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> nice. Once again, my magic trick. Excuse you. Ready? Ready? Well, it, it doesn't look very impressive on this side. <laughs> Big fan of the channel. Thank you. Uh, I like that thing. Richard Pro Wrestling 2. I used to have that banner too. I miss it. Shouldn't have sold it, but I did. It's in a good place though. Oh, I know. Just the variety of random stuff from OK Chiefs table. We got. Oh, <laughs> got the uh, got the Ben Cooper mask over there. Got the Super Mario Brothers. Uh... Holy! Oh, look at that! It's John Briggs, everybody. I, I, and I appreciate that, uh, but I see that. What, that? Yeah, like dude. That? I found this especially for you. Oh, you're so kind. And oh, it has the Nintendo and everything it on it. It has Nintendo and Turtles. Yeah, this cereal is pretty good. I was liked it. It? Yeah, it was. It's from. I'll tell you what it's from. It's from 1988. 1988. Yep. So, oh, back look, when. Look at that ever. Back when uh, Ralston. Back when Ralston made cereal. Really? Yeah. The Ralston. That was like the pedigree. It is. Uh, I mean, it's it's the same the same company that does like cat food, dog food. Yeah. They, they did yeah. breakfast cereal too. Yeah, and it's the symbol for the Jedi. <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> I, couldn't, oh, I couldn't tell you, man. But yeah. Yeah, dude, no, that's awesome. It's cool. It's old and it's. I, well, so am I. So. From, like, oh. I thought that was the macaroni dinosaur. No, the no. The bank. <laughs> I would remember the macaroni oh, right. dinosaur. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The old mac and uh, cheese and mac or whatever. So, um, I picked this up specifically for you. I appreciate that. And Anytime I, you find those, man, I'll take them. I'm going to charge you what they charge me. Okay. Is, if you're okay with it, I, $10 is... Oh, I could do $10 all day on that. That's Absolutely, man. This is all yours. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Man. Oh, dude. Yeah, I didn't have this one. Pretty sweet, huh? I'll take it. <laughs> all right, so, con's over. We're at, uh, uh, Ruth, where's that? Razoo's. 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 No, Razoo's. 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 That's a Cajun place here. I, you gotta check out the skillet here. I know. I, I, I had to. I, I, I'm doing it too, dude. I'm doing it too. It's, 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 I didn't know what to order, so I just ordered like a little bit of everything in a big old cast iron. Can I, I do I get to take home the cast iron thing? You said it was hot. I just totally touched it too. So I know. I know. I totally am. I know. So corn. The, uh, we tried the alligator earlier. I know. We, I think. I think we're all. I know. We got Steve. We got our friend Linda. Pete here too, 16 bit Pete, I'm telling you. We could be eating our food when it's fresh. We could be we could be eating. But we can take pictures. We have. But you you ordered the thing I was going to order. So the butterfly, right? So But seriously, we got the oh my goodness, another IPA. I'll take it. Okay. Right on time, I thank you, Alexis. Yeah. We are now. We are vlogging each other's vlogs. Don't forget the vlog. It's a vlog. It's a vlog section now. It is a vlog section. We're supposed to be eating right now. 
I'm gonna eat his food. Yeah, yeah, I got the, the yeah, food I'm got here like 20 minutes ago. It's cold by now. It's cold. Billboard the plan. I see him over there. Chris, no. I know. And Steve got the double. Pete, Pete. Right. I love you, Pete. I love you, Boogie. John, you suck. Are you, Are you seriously going to say that to my face? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, Bad at video games, nerd. We're going to enjoy your food, man. I'm going to try this out. I have to. Is right. that crawfish? I didn't, I've never had it fried. All right, I'll try it. I'll try it. Fried crawfish. This is uh, fried. We tried alligator earlier. I didn't even think about taking video oh, yeah, of it. I forgot about that. I forgot the alligator. I, I, don't, I don't, wasn't even thinking we're about, so it. about it. Well, we were, we're just we're, we're enjoying each other's yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. We put our phones down. We're enjoying each other's right. company. Yeah. And then the food got out here, and everybody. And then we're like, oh yeah, wait a minute. We actually filmed stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> crawfish. I, I the alligator was fine. It, it was fine. It just tastes like the seasoning, really. This is crawfish. Fried crawfish. I love it. Looks this is the bread we like. Yeah. And this is in Houston, Texas. I need to go to Louisiana, New Orleans. Try legit. That's coming. Coming soon. Hopefully. 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 Sometime, man. Pete and I will go there. We'll do it. Crawfish is good. Like when they do the broiled thing, it's just it's a process to get to it. Yeah. It's like lobster. You have to break into it. Yeah. It's just like it's sweeter meat than I was expecting. It's not sweet. I thought I was the sweet meat. Oh, yeah, you're always so my sweetie. I love this music too. I'm probably getting copyright strike on this music, but got the grilled andouille. I'm telling you, I eat like a slob. I apologize. I apologize for nothing. Say was made by Kevin McLeod. I didn't say him. I didn't say him. Yeah. 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 Prepare to me as I do this every time. I do like this. Watch this. Oh, hold on. There we go. One-handed. Well, I I learned how to do that by carrying my other child at the same time. We are at H E B looking for the breakfast cereal. Whoa. It was the wrong way, but what's this? This is new. I've never Dr. seen this. B. This is a wild red. This is their local home brand here. Look at this orange burst. Oh, I'm down for orange burst and the, the citrus rush, man. Dude, I know H -E -B I shouldn't be having sodas, but they're so I shouldn't good either. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a wild red, dude. What's with the bag? I mean, I need something to carry my stuff home. Yeah, look and at the inside. Like when you when you open up the sides there, got the got the rainbows on the inside there. Oh, it's love. It's a lovely bag. I love it. It's this a lovely bag. bag for the love bag. Oh. It is, dude. They did this just for you. Big old happy birthday balloon. I need a girlfriend now. Someone <laughs> needs to buy me this. John, will you be my girlfriend? Oh, for this, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm your goodness. girlfriend for this. How does that exist? All right, I see it. it says cereal. This is a new one, filled squares. This is caramel filled squares. We have the chocolate peanut butter. That's gonna be like your Reese's Puffs. But already right there, there's one we don't have. Caramel filled squares. Snickerdoodle, snickerdoodle cookie. We got the snickerdoodle. The flick. All right, so I got my Manny. What's your name? What's up, Joaquin? Joaquin, man, yeah. we're 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 just hunting down the cereal aisle, <laughs> and he was like, "Dude, I recognize these peeps," and we're, just, we're here in the cereal aisle just like anyone else, man. Yeah, what's going on? And I was telling Joaquin here, like, we don't have things like mango flakes. We don't have snickered cookie. We don't have maybe cinnamon sugar frosted flakes. I don't know. There's all kinds of cereals here. We don't have them here. We don't have these in Seattle. I'm telling you. I need to do you a favor. Yes, John. You need to pull me away from this. Because otherwise I'm about to eat every one of these sons of bitches. Dude. Dude, look at this. Frozen Frozen ice cream. Yeah, Pete's got you taken care of there. From, from Thelma's yeah. anyway. I'm gonna grab one. All right, but we don't have bluebell ice cream. And here's the bluebell section. Do they have anything less than like econo sized? We have Tillamook in the Northwest, and I don't think you can. I don't think anybody can beat Tillamook ever. But I would like to try the bluebell. Let's look and see if they got the. Okay. Yep. Found them. Thank you. Um, chocolate chip cookie dough. That'd be good. Cookies and cream, dude. Are you kidding me on this? Yeah. Millennium Crunch. Vanilla ice cream, chocolate cream, filled cookie. Good lord. I can I can base anything on rock. Well, but this one just sounds good. All right, I'm going with this one for sure. Hold on, let me put this back up so I'm not like a complete moron here. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when I left it where I found it. Okay, perfect. I'm going. I'm going with this one. This this is how this is how moist it is in the south. My glasses fog up, but I enjoyed my bluebell ice cream, Millennium Crunch. We're checking out main event, right? Main event. You can't even see it. There's, you can't see the sign. It's behind the behind the trees. We're going to main event this this. Where's everyone else? Where'd they go? There they are. I have no idea how this works. All right, we're going to main event. Let's see what main event's all about. I want to see us. I want to see the card spin out. Watch this. Ah. <laughs> Lame. 
It's, it, it gave for the prior one and yours. It, yeah, I know. Mine just spit out. It, 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 it literally just went boonk and like just went straight on the floor. Hold on, let's see. Oh, that's just, there it goes. It's just like that. Man, see? You gotta make you bend your back just to pick it up. <laughs> Fear Bears on tap here. I think it's the, the St. Arnold. St. Arnold's one again. We'll give it a shot. Got my, uh, whatever that Texas one was. Texas IPA. As a beer stop for the Northwest. It's really good. I like it. I... You need to see this. Are you kidding me right now? Beat Saber, VR. This is the uh, Beat Saber, but that, dude, I might have to play this. Mario Kart DX, Injustice, the arcade game. I'm trying to hide. I know. <laughs> you can't hide from me. You can't hide from me. Walking. This is. This has a little bit of everything. I like it. The new school, the old school. That's a fun one. All right. I'm down for this place. Hey, he's back. Dark Escape 4D. As you wear the 3D glasses. But when you wear those glasses, then it all matches up. You got the gun there. And heartbeat sensors is what you're saying? They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be heartbeat sensors, so if you get a jump scare, it'll detect it. Actually, if you look on their screen right there, you can see your heart rate. Oh, you can actually see the heart rate right now. Oh, there, yeah. All right. Man. All right, I'm down. I gotta I got play this. Okay, there we go. My glasses are equipped. Ooh, a little chroma key. Let's go three. Oh, we got the option. We gotta do 3D. Yeah. Here I am. Ooh, it sticks out a little bit. All right, all right. I don't know, what are you thinking? I feel like we're starting from the beginning. Uh, yeah. Into the prison? We'll, we'll, we'll go prison first here. Somebody left their icy here. I literally almost just took a drink of it. <laughs> it's like, oh, here's my drink. I mean, in the meantime, all the cutscene, it's not even mine. Somebody oh, left it here an hour ago. ago. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. So our heart rates are up. Okay. Mine's already going pretty fast. Yeah. I know, I'm scared, buddy. Feel the wind? Feel the on the back of your neck? I don't. Should I? You should. Uh oh. Oh, the Lord! <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Because with the, the jump scare, did, did you get the poof of air? In the the jump scare also comes with the like when you kick open the doors, the boost, boost the air gets you right in the face too. That's insane. Woo! At least you know when it's coming up. We gotta combine their thoughts. All right. Is it left? Got it. Nice. All right, let's do it. Go, 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 go. In your face. In your face. Uh oh, there's more. You even have a rabbits in VR. Like, you literally put on a, a headset and everything. It's a new ride. I'm telling you, VR is the future. VR is the future. A little lightsaber battle here. If you haven't checked it out yet, man, listen. Watch what happens here. I'm red. Uh oh. Miss! Miss! Oh, good, doing good. All right, man. Okay, okay. You know which one you gotta go for. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, what, what? No, oh! what? In your face. Oh, such sportsmanship. Now, this is a really good place. You got the prizes you can win, ways to win tickets, a lot of machines here, great ways to win some tickets over here, and by the crane machines that nobody wants, by the emergency exit. Are you kidding me? Man, listen, nobody put Dance Dance Revolution in the corner. Nobody, come on, man. Puts Dance Dance Revolution in the corner, buddy. 
This may be the largest crane machine I ever seen in my life. Here's my beer. Look how big, uh... dude, these are giant. The crane machine, let me stand back a little bit. It's not gonna help with the giant wheel. Dude, my kids would love this. Oh, good morning, sunshine. It was a late night last night. Uh, went to the main event and then went back to the hotel room. We're just hanging out, chatting about life and stuff and whatever. Looked at the time, I was like, oh, it's 3 a.m. I better get some sleep. <laughs> so I didn't get much sleep. It's one of the joys of being at a convention, I suppose. My, 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 uh, my sign's still there, though. And this is Sunday. A little chill. A day of rest, but we're still here and we're still hanging out, man. And that's what it's all about. And we'll maybe look around a little bit and see, see what we can find. I got a panel coming up here in about an hour or so. You can show them what I got, look. Oh, what do you what I got? Here, we got... Who's next? Oh, that's Goldberg. Right. This is pretty dope, bro. My wife just got me this uh, WCW NWO. How yeah. old is that? But this is so cool. You know, me and Riggs, we love wrestling. But this right here, I remember getting this at Kmart. Oh, I'm dating myself. You know, uh oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, my Goldberg return. <laughs> um, oh my God. Wait oh, a minute. Wait a minute. Well, at least I got the box. I, I was gonna... little, never before seen footage. Are you right about that? <laughs> <laughs> not, never before seen or after. Uh, this Goldberg is, So, this is how, <laughs> Wow. This, that's hilarious. You got, you got to this check it first. first. Yeah, she yeah. didn't check it, but it's, it's alright. Well, the, bo the box is cool, though. Right? Yeah, the box is definitely cool. <laughs> I feel like Roman Reigns is like, nah, <laughs> I might be buying some of this stuff before I leave. Oh, come on. I mean, dude. Platformer, it's more of like a science based game. But yeah, it's, we're working on trying to finish it up right now. It's like 99% there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the second game that I'm, I'm releasing. Gelatinous, huh? Yes. Gelatinous and humanity lost. And, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait, man. You know, it's it's a really fun game in my opinion. It gets really hard. It's one of those like, oh, it's, it's hard, but it's, it's challenging, but it's not frustrating. That's the best part. I remember about Chip's challenge. I, about retro games, is that I have Quest to Rest. They're they're difficult. You know, they're, they're How many games can you recognize on the side of this arcade cabinet? How many games can you recognize? All of them? Probably. I bet you could. I bet you could. This has a little bit of everything here. It's kind of cool to check out. I was gonna say nobody's playing this game, no. But everyone's playing the other game. I wonder why. You better watch out. I'm about to play that game. So like no one's playing that one, but the hard body for some reason has the line of people. Let me get a little close up out here. The recent edition of like wrestlers, wrestling figures. Oh my god, the whole sealed box. That's kind of cool. Got Don Morocco as well. I do love homebrews. It's very logic. It's hard to see on the CRT, but... I know this sounds kind of funny, but here's the cool thing. All right. This might just be one of the coolest block-pushing games ever released. Really? Nintendo Entertainment System. And here's the funny thing. So, usually when you think of block pushing, you, you think, oh, this is boring. Right. This is, oh. This we've is seen it before, right? That we've already done it. But the thing is, is that really, what what makes a game good or not, or what makes a game great, is really just the developer. And <laughs> is that how it works? Really. The, the, At the end of the day, right? Yeah, the, the level designer and the person making the game, because here's the thing. You can play every NES game ever made, okay? Right. And you will not get the experience that you're going to get from this game because all of those other NES games, I didn't make those. Correct. You know what I mean? So it's almost like art. It's like a painting, right? It really is. Everybody has their own, you know, flavor of making things. It's so funny because it's almost like the underdog because it's like the game doesn't offer hardly anything, yet it's great. <laughs> seriously. Seriously. I, don't, yeah. I, I want you to think about that. The game this is the worst elevator pitch no, ever. No, it they say it's a new game for the NES. It doesn't offer hardly anything, but it's one of the greatest games ever. That, I, okay, I'll but, take that. I'll take that. But it's great because of the simplicity, right? It's there you go. It's so simplistic. There's only one mechanic. You have a block. You push in a hole. That's it. And, and if you communicate to somebody how to play your game without telling them... 
it's almost like that's a language within its own right because it's a universal language that everybody understands. Correct. You don't have to to play this game. You don't need to speak English or Japanese or Chinese. Or right. Whatever. You just pick up and play it. So anyway, so that's my deep philosophical uh, level design view. It works for me. Of the game. There you go. <laughs> See, I like it. I dig it. Some of the fan-made Mario's are, I you know, I hate to say it, but better than the Mario. Yeah, the original yeah. Mario's. Well, collaboration games, you know, collection games. So cool. Here's some cool stuff. Like just random acts of stuff. Oh, dude. That's cool. Man, I would not want to be stuck on top of that thing. That big ass bridge? It's like oil fields, I'm guessing. Yep. Good lord. With all the small. Right. There's. I know, for the. We were in Retropalooza, Houston, and I didn't even go to Houston. It was just. <laughs> that's too far away. <laughs> I live in the kind of town where the airplane, you literally walk up from the ground, it has literal propellers. <laughs> that's how that works. We're after. I know my hair is crazy right now. After a four hour flight and a four hour layover in Seattle, I'm ready to be home. I'd love to travel, but think about my own bed, my own pillow, my own toilet. It's a beautiful thing. So you never know, man. Keep an eye out on social media. You'll see me at a convention again very soon. We'll see you really soon. I promise.